Hello, everyone. I just got access to the new AI agent mode from ChatGPT uh, this morning. So I thought I wanted to try it out on WordPress and see if I could make it do any WordPress related tasks. Uh, so I tried. The first thing I actually did was trying to log in to, to WordPress, just give it the credentials and ask it to just do a simple task like create a post with a title and make up an image for it and, and things like that. And it did. And it worked pretty well. Uh, kind of scary. But then I, I thought I wanted to test it further to see if it can actually go ahead and use a page builder like uh, Bricks Builder, which right now is my builder of choice. So I asked it to make like a little simple landing page and that didn't work as intended or it wasn't good, but it was kind of scary as well because you can see that it's trying to learn and it's trying to do many, many different things. And maybe in the future, uh, we're going to be obsolete. Everything is going to be created with uh, agents like this. But uh, let's have a look at what I tried. Okay, so I started out by just giving it the, the login credentials, the, the, the login page and the email and the password. And as you can see here, it's trying to log in. And then I just gave it the prompt that uh, just create a simple test post with a title, an excerpt, and a featured image and some text. And um, yeah, do it under posts. And you can see, I sped this up, but you can see that it's actually logging into the website right here. And it's... Um, it's going ahead, it's thinking, it's retrying to open post link. There are some weird things going on um, here and there, but uh, but it actually manages to go ahead after... it's Right now, it's generating the featured image for the post, as you can see there. And... Um, and it's doing that in the background, and then after that, it's going to continue. So it, it looks like it's doing this in serial um, steps. So right now, as far as it, it put in the the everything already, so uh, it's going to add an excerpt right now. It created the title, it all of that stuff. So that's yeah. And then now it goes to the media library, and for some strange reason, the excerpt box here pop up is still on there. I don't know why I've never seen that before in my life, but uh, it figures out that it has to close it down and it figures out that it has to go ahead and and browse the the files and then it finds that file that it just did and it is on my website. This is my website that I created myself. It's so weird to see someone else. It's not even someone else. It's a machine doing this stuff here. It even added an alt description. I didn't ask it to do that, so that's what it did. And then I it asked me, do I want to publish it? And I did. And um, I could have done that myself, obviously. Then I didn't have to use the AI credits on that. But uh, but it's going to publish it right now. And it's just going to go back to the editor and just hit the publish button as anyone would have done. So in a second, you'll see me. I just, right now, I'm going to go here. I'm zooming out. And you can actually see the post that it created here and uh, what it looks like if I try to preview it on the front end. So So that's pretty crazy, I think. All right, so the next thing I asked it to do was actually uh, to build a page with Bricks Builder. I told it to uh, the page should have a hero section, a section with some cards, with an image, a heading, and some text, and just create some other sections and come up with your own content. Um, and I told it to use best practices, classes, variables from CSS frameworks, etc. Uh, and let's just see what you could do. But as you can see here, it actually it, it went in, it uh, found the pages, it created a new page. It, um, it started doing this. I don't know why it looks like this, uh, why the uh, structure panel is so big and you can't really see the page. But uh, And I should say that I sped this up like four and a half times or something like that. So it goes way, way slower than this in real life. But it's trying to figure out all of these different things. It can't really find out where to click the button, which buttons to click and where you add an element. Now, right now, it's actually trying to uh, find out where you add an element. And for some strange reason, it always wants to drag and drop an element. It doesn't really learn that from the get-go. It figures it out first, like that you have to be uh, located on the element in the structure panel. And then you can press the plus button and just click on the element that you want to add. But uh, it wants to drag and drop it all the time. And now it's actually trying to figure out how to do this. It uh, it didn't figure out first where to actually add the element. So it's going through all of the different buttons up here. For some strange reason, the first time right here, it didn't find that plus button right here. And now it goes online to do some searching and uh, yeah, look up in the documentation and find out how you actually do this. Uh, and then it started again to do one by one by one just to figure out. So it took it a long time. It took it like, I don't know, 15 minutes for it to actually figure out which button to click in order to... Um, to add elements. So uh, I could have done that much quicker, but uh, I don't know about the future, man. Uh, <laughs> 
what's going to happen. Uh, and it makes a lot of errors. It makes a lot of mistakes. It tries to leave the page and gets these pop-ups. But it, it knows how to get back on track again. And it, it never gives up. So now we actually are into this. It's starting to build. I know you can't probably see this. Uh, it's not very clear. Um, and it's a very small preview that you get. And you can't really... Um, you can't really make it bigger inside chat GPT, but, um, but it's managing to put in some cards here and it's managing to go ahead and put in like a, a hero section. Now it's doing like this card and, and you can see that the text here it's, it's, you know, it's telling you, it's kind of reading out loud how, what it's actually doing. And it actually manages to put in a heading and some basic text and, and this and that. And now it, it, it did command a and selected everything or something like that. So it's messing around, but the, thing is that it is actually learning it is doing these things and um, it gets stuck but uh, I can't help to wonder what's what's this going to be like in the future if it has all the information if you can actually train a model specifically train for building pages with a page builder uh, and maybe you can just record your videos imagine that you recorded like uh, I don't know hundreds and hours of videos with your own workflow and then maybe, you know, in the future, you are going to be able to train this with, with your own video materials. So you can, um, yeah, so, um, so it'll use your best practices and build websites like you like to build websites and, and things like that. So um, it's pretty impressive. Um, it's also pretty scary. Now it's uploading an image here, and it's not really going that well. It's, it's doing a lot of different stuff, but it's not giving up, and it looks like it's learning. Uh, I don't know if this is actually learning. Okay, here I actually tried to see the activity, so I just went to that tab just to see exactly what you can do there because uh, I was just playing around with it earlier. Uh, and you can see step-by-step step what it did at the different timestamps, uh, and you can scroll back and forth with it. And you can actually also take over. I don't know how that works, but I guess you can just take over and click where you want to click. But maybe you can say, hey, buddy, you have to click here and not there. Maybe you can actually teach it. But then, but again, I, I don't know if, if this is actually something that is recorded by OpenAI and they actually use this material to train it on. Um, yeah, may, maybe they do. Maybe in the future, many people have done something like this and it's going to figure it out. Okay, I can recognize this is Bricks Builder. Then I have to do this and that because this other guy on the other side of, of the world did it this way. Then I probably have to do the same thing since they are using the same piece of software. So, uh, so yeah, it's very interesting. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let it. Uh, I'm just gonna let it work for a little while here, and I apologize for the sound in the background. My neighbor is going crazy building his house. <laughs> it's great, um, and it's raining as well. So, um, but yeah, it's it's trying to do these weird things. I don't know what you saw here. It, it inserted like it wants to make the cards right now. It has a container. It has three divs, and instead of using flex and gaps and stuff like that, it it goes in there and it, it sets like a width of 33.3% on every div. And that's definitely not the way that you want to do it. But but it knows how to open the color picker here. It knows how to, you know, select the colors. It can see what color it is and, mention, you know, tell you what color it is and, and all that stuff. So if you're much more precise, I guess, and you train it some more, uh, I think in the future this is probably going to be, um, yeah, pretty amazing. Um, so, yeah. But after a while, you know, it just kept going and it didn't really figure out anything. It didn't uh, look great, but it's doing something at least. Um, and compared to the first thing, this is uh, the first thing I tried just creating a post. That's probably something that's usable from, yeah, you can probably use that right now already. You just upload a document and create a post like this. And, you know, this image, here's an image, put that image in as a featured image. But for building with a page builder for, for now, it's, it's not really that good. And I... Um, I had it like running for about a half an hour and then it just kept going and going and going. It didn't really get anywhere. So uh, eventually I just stopped it and I never saw the result on the on the real site because I couldn't go and uh, save it. But I'm going to speed up the rest of the video here and then I'll get back to you at the end of this. Yeah, that's what happened. And it didn't go very well and that's easy to see. But I don't know if I should be scared or not, if I should start looking for another profession, because this is just the beginning. I don't know what this is going to look like in one year, two years, five years, whatever, right? Uh, so I can imagine that in the future, like there's there are so many cool tutorials and video tutorials on Bricks Builder, for example. What happens if you actually train the AI on those videos? Then it's probably going to get much, much smarter and much, much faster. And maybe it's actually going to be able to do these things using best practices and all that stuff. So 
I don't know about this. I, I have a weird feeling today, but also I think it's pretty cool at the same time. So, um, yeah, it feels like there's something new coming up every single week, some new AI stuff. And usually it's not as groundbreaking as I think this thing is, for me at least. That's uh, the first time I've, I've ever tried anything like this. And I actually feel a little bit scared about it too. So anyways, guys, let's uh, hear what you think about it. Leave your comment down below in the comment section and uh, like and subscribe and all that jazz. See you next time.